Most recently, the US authorities cancelled the licenses of Intel and Qualcomm for selling advanced chips to Huawei. Which means from now, Huawei might not be able to even use Qualcomm's 4G chipset in its phones, which Huawei was using a year ago. Well, I told you guys this restriction is not good for both Huawei and Qualcomm because I was quite certain that Huawei might need Qualcomm in the future until the company discovers a new and independent solution. But I guess Huawei already found the solution because firstly, Qualcomm which is a leading American semiconductor company recently confirmed that Huawei no longer requires its processors. Well, this announcement comes after the ongoing tensions between the United States and China over the trade and technology restrictions and this confirmation by Qualcomm CFO that Huawei will not be purchasing even 4G chips from the company in the future undercores the significant shift in the global technology landscape. And guys, Huawei's decision to move away from Qualcomm processors is a strategic move towards independence. The company has been actively working on developing its own chipset, particularly the Karen series, which has been used in its smartphones. Huawei's shift to independence can be seen in the Huawei Pura 70 series. And that's not it, because I've got something more important to tell you. Well, SMIC, which has been a key manufacturer for Huawei's Karen chipset, such as the Karen 9000S and the 9010, well, if you don't know, both these chipsets are manufactured on the 7nm process node, which is an old process. Well, SMIC was working on developing its own 5 nanometer chip production process, and now, a new report from Business Korea suggests that SMIC has successfully achieved another milestone. That means their 5 nanometer process is now ready for chip manufacturing. Well, that's an incredible feat, especially given the infrastructure challenges SMIC has encountered due to the US export restrictions. But the report suggests that the SMIC's new 5 nanometer node relies on the older, deep ultraviolet lithography process instead of the more advanced, extreme ultraviolet lithography technology. Well, here is the difference between both one. But the thing is, the chipset made from the DUV method will be extremely fast if we compare it with the 7 nanometer process and Huawei is likely to use processors manufactured using the SMIC's new 5 nanometer node on its upcoming Huawei Mate 70 series. So that phone will be much faster than both the Huawei Mate 60 Pro and the Huawei Pura 70 series. So what do you think about this massive achievement of Huawei? Well, let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below and as always the story continues and i will see you guys in the next one peace out